Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here and you hopped on, my name is Yvonne and you're on Ginger Chick Rehab where I love to go out in the wild searching for secondhand finds. Not only do I resell and flip them for profit, but I also on my channel do DIYs and crafts with secondhand finds and share the process with you all of how to make beautiful home decor. In today's video, this is a haul video and do I have some salvaged finds for you. Oh my gosh, this auction had some amazing items that I was lucky enough to get my hands on. This is our studio, you all. So this is where I craft and DIY. So you will see it's, it is what it is. It is a messy uh, studio. So yes, look at this amazing windmill. I am a fan of Rusty Krusty. I know it's not everybody's gig, but we're lucky enough to have an outdoor booth. So to be able to get our hands on not only that big one, but we are also able to get our hands on two of the smaller ones. Oh my gosh, just beautiful, beautiful, rusty crusty salvaged pieces, windmill pieces and parts. I might have to keep one for myself, but oh my gosh. So that was a good find. Um, a small little ladder if you leave it as is. I've painted them up and done transfers on them and they're gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, then these two trellis pieces. Oh my gosh, look at the glass. Look at the glass. Now, I know I, it's not anything I can ship, but I have sold to people that have seen stuff on my channel, y'all. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go through these. And this is a lightning rod. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just happened to be at one of the auction sellers. This was a multiple auction with multiple auctioneers going, and I've always wanted to get a lightning rod. And apparently my daughter, who worked at the antique store, said that when these are in the sun, they turn white. Did you ever know that? I did not know that. So that was a good find. And y'all, I know that not everybody's that type of a reseller, but I just love to share with you, if you're looking for these pieces and parts and you always wonder where did people find these, sometimes they're auctions, they're estate auctions, they're, this is an auction that happens every Wednesday in Shipshawana that has multiple auctioneers. So if you're looking for some salvage finds, that, that's a great place to go. Uh, this sign was super cute. You know, primitives are primitives, and they have a heart. Oh, my gosh. So it looks like it was made from, like, an old type of cutting board, which is very interesting. And then these are just two, I don't know if they came from a bed, like a crib. Like a crib. I don't see any pieces and parts. But these could be trellis. These could be blanket. You know, there's so many options that you could do with these pieces. Now, my husband, Chris, if you're new to our channel, is a tool guy. He fixes up tools, resells them. Um, so he will take a rusty, crusty tool like this. This one might be a little far gone. <laughs> but And he will put it in a solution, and he will make it all prettied up. It'll still have that beautiful antique look, but it'll be a little bit more usable. And then he also is a fan of Tonka, so he loves... These aren't as vintage as he usually likes, but... I think he got these two for 10 bucks. So boys and their toys, he could not pass up, you know, $10 Tonkas. Uh, flip over to this table <laughs> and oh my gosh, salvaged metal tin pieces. They're 60 in the lot. So I think he paid like $50 for each of them. But as a crafter and a DIYer and sharing stuff with you all, these are great to have in my hoard. They're just awesome. So that made them less than a, a dollar a piece. So well worth the investment. He did get his hands on one of these little faux stereo viewfinders, uh, though I'm going to have to use one of my salvaged ones for some pieces and parts because this one does have the glass, but it's missing this part of it and the stand. So I think I have another one that I have gotten at auctions past, but to, ha to get your hands on some of these, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. There was, oh, <laughs> they're just, they're just, they're just funny. And I, some of them actually... Hold on, I have to find it. I, um, there were some that had um, a story on the back of them. 
Well done. Oh, there you go. I knew there was something. See, some of them had actual stories and ex explanations of what they were. I think they're quite interesting. I find those quite interesting. And then this was in a box lot that I bought. Um, and I'm like, oh, well, a nice little box. I would change these out because these little wire pieces make it wonky. Put some hinges. That's what I love to do. I love to find items that I can make over. So this piece is perfect. I thought these that came in the same box lot were just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Not e everything do you save. I have a whole table of stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to donate that. <laughs> so, And then I did bid on a blue bowl because I have some blue um Fan. So nice blue crock bowl. This one was with it. So two for one. A BB pottery crock. Look at that beautiful. Oh my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, a sock form. I'm like a dry sock dry form. Wish there was two, but I'll be, I'll take one. I will take one, y'all. And then this is, I think this is like that Pennsylvania painting. I haven't looked it up. Um, so this is just a cute, some people collect the, this type of painting, so I have to look that up and check that out. Um, one of the boxes, this is what the box was. It was a tin box. Okay, I will salvage and keep on that. I, I, yeah, like I said earlier, I am a rusty, crusty girl. Um, and then this is just another metal box underneath it. You know, those always do come in handy. Now, this is a quilt rack that came with something that I bought, but that's, you know, you could use the wood. You can use it as a blanket rack. Um, I did actually bid on this because I was curious. It is actually a 13. It is a ball 13, which, you know, the... The rumor, the wise tale is that during Prohibition times, uh, people used to break the 13 because they thought it was bad luck. Unfortunately, this one does have a chip. It does have a chip right there. But it's the story that goes behind the number 13 that was interesting to me. So I don't know the date of this one. You tell the dates, by the way, that the ball um, is on the jar. So I'd have to you know, try to compare the writing. And then my last table, this was another box lot. Um, just happened to get some, <laughs> this, I thought this drawer was actually neat. Um, it feels like MDF board, so it's newer. It had some silverware in it. I was super excited about this piece because I'm an olive eater. It was an olive fork. I've always wanted to get an olive fork, but, and now I had one. What's the chances of that being in that? The silverware. No, it's not silver. It's just silver plated. Just some older silverware. Um, this was a, another little salvaged box. I'll definitely keep on this cute little frame. This box was in some of Chris's tools. So another little cheese box. Um, these were in a box. And I'm like, oh, well, I'll have to save those for Christmas time. Some primitive little candy canes that I didn't have to make. And look at the world's smallest little cow. I'm sure it was. it's an ornament. But take that string off. Take the little hook off. And then it's just cute, cute primitive cow decor. How cute is that? And yet again, this was just a spool in one of the boxes. So I'm going to keep that. I love these spools. I paint... Um, actually paint pumpkins at the fall time white so those are nice to have those were in another box lot and then my salvaged finds oh look at those beauties yes sometimes you just take all the nails out um this one doesn't have any but people love i do i I do good reselling the salvaged finds, y'all. So when I can get my hands on them, if I need to fix anything to make it more of a decor piece, I will do that because it's not there's not enough pieces and parts to make it complete of anything. Um, and then I thought these definitely had an industrial type of vibe. Though, yes, I could clean them up and I could paint them, but they have that industrial vibe going on. Somebody's welding project. So I like that they were all these little... Um, different shapes, especially the star. I got, oh, I got a couple. Oh my goodness! So I got a couple of the stars, a couple of the arrows, a hashtag, <laughs> hashtag. So that those were those were fun. Those were very fun. And I know this is like an old cheese box, 
Oh, but look at the age. I, there's something about the these staples aging that just caught my eye. This is not the original. They had this lid in with it, but as you see, it's not even the same size or the same wood. Um, but this is just beautiful. Put some dried flowers in there. Put some decor in there. I wouldn't do anything with it because it's just that age. That age is just beautiful. I can do some writing on it maybe to give it a little bit more character. We'll see. You never know. You never know what I get inspired to do. And then I, I thought the soda fountain was super cute. <laughs> super cute. Um, like I said, I just happened to be at one of the booths that nobody was at. So a lot of times I can't touch signs. Signs are crazy, go crazy high. So especially since I can make signs, I'm like, uh-uh, no. <laughs> I won't go crazy high for that. Um... And then this is fun. I've been looking for one of these to put my salvage finds in my booth. It's kind of hard to figure out how to display them because a lot of times they are chippy or I've painted them and they're still, you know, they're so a metal basket is nice. I wish it did have, it's a clap, collapsible, collapsible one. <laughs> um, easy for you all to say. Um, so we'll have to make some type of a base to get it up a little. Right now I just have it in a wire basket on a stool in my booth. And I'm probably beating up my stool a little bit. I'm probably going to have to repaint it. And are these not gorgeous? So one of the auctioneers had a ton of these. Um, though I was kind of sad because when I actually, I got like the third bid on them. And then when, um, so there was multiple so you could bid multiple times. And then when I actually got my hands on them, I'm like, oh, these are nothing. <laughs> these are nothing. Um. So especially like these two, since I got that other, let me see, since I got that other piece that had a sign, I might make them into, you know, at least one maybe into sign because it's not nice board. So to make it nice board, it still wouldn't have that heaviness to it. I could sand it, I could oil it, and that would just make it feel so much better than what it feels like, but it's just that very light, light board make great decor pieces um yeah i guess you could um you know put food on it if you wanted so i don't know i'm kind of on the fence what i want to do with them now and i thought this was unique i've always seen the round ones a ball jar carrier i have so many ball jars y'all <laughs> um but i just loved it for the carrier and then like what i say all the ball there's a different writing in eat on each of them. So if you there's a Google search that you can look and that identifies the age. So each one of the jars has like a number on the bottom. Like I was showing you the 13 if you're if that was new to you. But see how the ball is a little bit different comparative to each one of these. Like this one you can barely even see. Um, here's another older one. Um, see how this one still is a little bit different. Ah, oh, so hard to see them, isn't it? So, no, I don't think that. Let me see if I can get. So they're still all just a little bit different. Actually, those might all be the same age. But you can definitely tell that this one is different than that one. So that's how you identify the age of a ball jar. Apparently, they changed their um, writing. Okay, and my last stretch... This was in a box lot, um, something I bought. I'm like, well, I'll have to hoard onto those nice berries. And I was on the fence if I was going to donate this or send this to an auction, but my daughter thought it was cool. So I'm like, well, if she thinks it's cool, I should save it and see if somebody wants to purchase it or maybe she wants to use it in her own decor. Um, yet again, some of Chris's, I uh, know this was in my lot. This is just a pulley, um, like a barn pulley. Like you, to slide your door back and forth. A cast iron lion knocker. Though black sells the best in cast iron for me. Um, so, and that's what I do. I paint things up and I flip them if they, I see a need for it. So, and then this was just some pieces of wood. Um, even though this is, it's got a, like a carving or a pencil drawing or something. It's so faint. It's so hard to tell. So 
I'm on the fence what to do with this piece, but it's a nice little aged piece of wood. Um, no, no, no signature or any, anything, but it's even if you hung it on your, I don't know if you could really see it, unfortunately. I don't know if the, the wood aged or she did it and then it stained, you know, it was so faint. I thought it was just a back of a frame at first, but then you see that cute kitty cat when you get up close. This is just a checkerboard. I can sand that down and make a sign out of that. You can make a sign out of anything. And then here's some more of the salvage pieces, which were the metal pieces came with it. I think that's a trap of some kind. But yes, um, yeah, just taking the nails out, cleaning these up. I have repainted a few that are a little bit worse for wear because not everybody has the same vision for the chippy goodness that I do. So, um, but these are just nice, like pieces of corbels, pieces of corbels. So beautiful decor pieces. A couple matching candlesticks that need a new paint job. Nice height to them. Very nice height to them. Um, these are... So what kind of rat rakes are these, you all? There was three of them. So give me a comment down below if you know what these kind of rakes are used for. I, I just... I think they're beautiful um, decor pieces to hang on the wall, put in, if you had all three of them, you could put them in a crock. You could hang like an old apron, a little baggy, linen, doily, dried dried um, herbs or flowers. And I love them natural. I think that they are awesome. These are just probably some feeding pans, but they're that galvanized tin that I love. And that, I can't remember which box out that might have came in the bo the the uh, metal box because in the metal box there were these tins and even though they are beat up i have vision for some decoupage paper i love that they're aged and i would not paint them up at all they're just just gorgeous and then my last two are these little um so they're little desks little writing desks they definitely are that primitive vibe I would not paint these up either. Either you all oh, sometimes you just leave good enough alone, because even though you try to get that chippiness with techniques, it's just not the same with that age. I mean, imagine how many times this guy was lifted up. How many times was he lifted up? That it, yeah, piece of his wood is missing. So yeah, some sometimes you leave good enough alone, and I just have to let you know that you know. We mix our antiques in with our crafts and our booths because we are on the craft side of the antique mall. So we we are allowed to do that. Now, if we were on the true antique side, um, we could only have antiques. So this is, I always like to share the stash that I usually will donate, send to auction. We have a local auction that does once a month auctions that we'll send a box lot to. And if we make $5 off it, I'm happy. If not, and it doesn't sell, then you know we pay $5 a lot to try to sell it, is how that works. And then we will you know, send it to Goodwill. You try to get some of your money back, but not always. So these are just some pieces and parts that sometimes I just I don't want to deal with. I'm on the fence about this little clock because it does not work it is heavy metal what gets me is this oh the gears in the back so it's missing its backing but the, oh my gosh i wish it worked i so wish it worked but the this see how it just keeps falling apart so maybe somebody's a clock person and knows how to fix it but yeah these were just extra unfortunately um pink depression doesn't really sell <laughs> Um, it doesn't have any chips or cracks, but so I always hoard onto these and if somebody sees something, I can pop it on eBay. But other than that, yeah, those are just pieces and parts. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I forgot about our only furniture purchase today. Look at that. Oh my gosh. So we all, it's butcher block, which gets me in these little islands get me. Um, though I think this was used, um, for chickens, <laughs> y'all, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, look at, like, how this is, can you see, can you see that? See the indent of how this is war? Um, so trying to fix it because 
I mean, somebody tried to glue it so that... So Chris will see if he can work his magic on it to make it... Try not to take the age away, but tr still make it a piece that you can use. Um, I would not plant this out, though, at all. But to make it usable, I don't know if people would want cracks in it. And then I think it should have some type of a shelf so you can actually use the storage because that would be a whole bunch of dead space. Um, and putting things on casters always makes these little islands sell really fast. So, And then I absolutely loved, loved that metal work on it. And yet again, it was the same auctioneer I was at. Nobody was at. I got it for five bucks. Shh, I was whispering. Because <laughs> the furniture was going really high. And I did see vision for this piece. Okay, y'all, that is it for our auction finds. Yes, this is Shipshawana, Indiana. Every Wednesday, they have an inside auction. They have three to four to five auctioneers going at the same time. People bring their stuff down that they um, are out and about in the wild finding, and they just bring it to sell. So it's an auction, so it goes for whatever it goes for. So when we can't pick other places, um, we will go down there and check out to see what they have. Though a lot of this is bigger pieces. We're searching for our outdoor booth. We have a, um, at the end of March, we have a open house going into the antique mall where our, our outdoor booth is. Um, she just purchased it purchased this new antique and so she's trying to promote it though outdoor booths in um, spring are kind of sketchy so but we were looking for items that we could restock and put into that it's just a half of the front porch is what we have so um yes i absolutely love finds i love salvage finds and we sure do enjoy auctions and estate sales and the whole the all the whole out in the wild searching for treasure so give me a quick comment down below do you love auctions do you stay clear from auctions i know everybody has a story <laughs> they all do i love to read them down in the comments below so again thanks for watching today's video guys and as always if you're part of our youtube family thank you so much and if you are new and you're checking out this content the first for the first time i do weekly haul videos depending on where we go this just happens to be an auction sometimes it's goodwill sometimes it's estate sales so, and also here on the channel, I do secondhand find thrift flips, furniture flips, along with DIYs and crafts. So thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you next time, and you can see what we're up to. Bye!